What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cannabis Legalization News, uh, the number one cannabis news source on YouTube. My name's Tom. I'm your host. And we have a big story for you today. It has to do with a RICO action that was filed and then also some DEA news. Uh, and then there's some more national news regarding federal funds. Uh, we have some state news. We've got some news out of New York, some out of Illinois. Um, and then there's also some Hawaii news. We have a name that strain. There's an Ohio event coming up. We got some entertainment stuff and, and many, many more things. So why don't we get into the main story of the week and do our trending news stories. Hey, oh, Miggy, what's up? That worked out nice. I like the intro. That was well, next time I'll practice before we go live. But uh, yeah, and, and you'll probably see me in a different location because the sun, sun. <laughs> coming in from the back. Yeah. Tom doesn't have blinds. I do not. I don't yeah. have blinds. But it is uh, Florida ceiling windows. And the sun really is. I mean, it kind of follow me. No, I mean, close. it's a lovely view, but yeah, it's all right. It's all right. So what do you think about this, uh, the DEA deadline? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, the DEA deadline. That's one of those things where uh, they need to telegraph it a little bit better, but uh, it does not surprise me that they are taking their schedule and their, their time to try to you know, respond to the, den the, the senator's letter that they sent uh, asking, when are they going to publish the rule? When are they going to publish the rule? I mean, you know, I, I think this letter in itself, though, is, is a... <laughs> What it's what, what the uh, political gesturing, just like the impeachment of Myarchus, right? It, it does. It, it's a whole bunch of do about nothing, right? Because even if they 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 set a deadline, here we are. It's passed. Mm -hmm. What are the repercussions? What's the what's the you gotta answer this, right? It's nice. It's nice that a bunch of uh, uh, government officials reached out to the DEA, but yeah, but it was a self imposed. It was a deadline that they imposed on the DEA that had no like authority to impose. Right. So I That's love great. doing those types of deadlines. If you don't do this by that time. So what if I don't do it that? that? I'll yeah. be very upset with you. I'm gonna, be very upset. <laughs> I'm gonna write a Yelp review. Right, a Yelp review for I'm the DEA. Scary. I wonder scary. if there are Yelp reviews for the DEA. I would imagine they're probably pretty ass. If oh yeah, are, you know, or or Facebook reviews. Yeah, you know that was one of the ways I used to like troll the police. But yeah, I, I uh, you know, it's it's. Do you think it's gonna happen this year? I mean, like uh, these schedules would be nice. I think it would be beneficial for you know us, you know, starting off as in a, in a business. But I think it would be great for us starting off in the business. But I don't like it takes time to do the descheduling. Um, yeah. And, and again, uh, if you guys are joining us for the first time, because like our channel kind of blew up a little bit last uh, week as that uh, THCA video that I did about six months ago got hot again and has brought us like another thousand subscribers. Uh, we have a new video coming out about seeds and how you can start like a seed business, but it's already been flagged 18 plus. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now, because uh, if yeah. you want to see that seed video and you're not subscribed and logged in, you won't get noticed. I mean, that's what we do. We're, we're covering the, the legislative process, the rulemaking. I mean, it's all out there, right? Everybody's going to argue like, don't schedule. I mean, like I really want on get the, get it off right ideally it'd be nice but that takes legislation and so the the biden or trump any administration can't deschedule that requires right. congress to do their job or you know 28th amendment let's get lit 20th baby. amendment legalize it today <laughs> but and that's the whole this, this this rulemaking process right it was easier to to, to incarcerate someone than it is to like create this like market of parody the the you know alcohol and cigarettes gotta win but for some reason and you know it's not just america right like, like as i learned more about the prohibition in history you know this tends back in even the mexico had its own prohibition back in time but in america we just learned how to uh, market and, and and do prohibition with the uh, the xenophobia right and the and the racism like there's so yeah. much control and manipulation that you can do yeah, that's really what it was. I mean, like there's, it was racism. It was like with alcohol, it was like, it'd make you a bad person. You won't be a good Christian, but it, I don't think it was like right? straight up racism. Like with uh, the marijuana laws, there was a lot of that. Going the on. darkies going to get you. They're getting mad. Watch out. Yeah. They're yeah. Get, uh, jazz music and make you listen to it. <gasps> right. Or, or it makes them all equal. Watch out. It makes you feel like they're. They're better than what they are. I mean, whatever conjecture wow. they got. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> so that law's still on the books. Why? Oh, because Congress is a little inept. That's why. Oh, mm -hmm. and 
So like anytime anybody says deschedule, don't reschedule, say, okay, then write a letter to Congress and remind them to do their jobs because that's what it requires to, you'd have to change the CSA from what it literally says now. Do you think though, like the cases coming up in Georgia, do you think this is the kind of thing that can help uh, uh, propagate, uh, you know, be a catalyst to rescheduling and, and given the parity between cannabis and marijuana or hemp and you know marijuana? Oh, I don't know. I, I really don't know in the sense that this almost looks like um, there's so many of these in law. They're called money grabs. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's up. Awesome. And so the, the RICO lawsuit, this was filed last week. Uh, I also have a copy of the lawsuit right over here, uh, per, particularly paragraph 79. We're going to go after and it's it's that's a good one. Um, but they are uh, alleging a lot uh, against all of these companies. And so Cookies made it. So did Steezy. Uh, it's not Stizzy because it's style and ease. Uh, anyway, Cloud9, uh, that one, uh, Khalil Amore, Green Rush, Theezy. I'm not sure if that's actually how it's pronounced. Uh, Exhale, those guys emailed us to try to do a uh, affiliate code. Mm. Uh, Savage Enterprises, uh, Christopher Wheeler, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, oh, I'm thinking maybe it was Encore Labs and not Exhale, but mm. and then but, Farm Labs and then John Doe's one through a thousand. What? For the defendants. <laughs> well, because it is, it's a conspiracy, man. And so because it's a conspiracy, they start going after like their bankers and shit. And so that's, oh, that's yeah. what John Doe's really are. Mm. Uh, and so if I do a control fine about John Doe, uh, yeah, that's, it only appears 12 times mm. in it. And then, so there's like plenty of John Doe's, yeah, 21 through 30 are individuals or entities who have provided credit and or financing to Savage. Mm. Uh, and so like the people, the bankers that are allowing uh, these companies to, um, sell what is purportedly yeah. legal hemp uh, paragraph 79 though that one is uh that one made me laugh a little bit um but it, it's it explains what uh, georgia defines racketeering rac racketeering as an attempt to commit a crime solicit course intimidate another person into committing a crime but is chargeable by indictment under the laws of the state including the controlled substance act of georgia uh, and so, and then paragraph 80 is the one that really made me uh, kind of laugh because it's like plaintiff and class members desired to purchase a legal oh, yeah. product that contained hemp de uh, derived D8 understood as being comprised of non-de minimis legal amounts of D9 THC. Instead, they were buying marijuana because it was over the line. Uh, yeah, right. Like anybody who buys THCA flower or Delta 8 THC or any of those hemp uh, derived intoxicating cannabinoids uh, they intend to buy something to get them high. Sure. Well, not only just that. Did you, and I think it was the beginning of that. It, it mentions how she bought five products. Uh, Hannah, the, you know, I tried looking up you know, the other part. We'll go for it. Hannah Ledbetter is the plaintiff's name. And yeah. then now they're going to try to get as many plaintiffs as they can. And they're going to try to certify a class and they want the money. They want the big, big payout. Um, yeah, they want yeah. some sort of settlement, right? I mean, it won't get no. to like... Uh, oh, of uh, course. Sure. Well, well they'll... Could. Here's how litigation works. And so after it's filed, typically you hit a, a motion to dismiss. And so after the motion to dismiss, then mm. you can kind of get to the merits. Um, uh, like there's a case out of Chicago that some people in Illinois don't know about yet. And so I am getting into some more litigation up there. Uh, hopefully, I mean, I've, I've been in talks to get retained by him, but it'll be really interesting because like that'll be a case that we can talk about on the show in the future. It's already been filed. Um, however, it's... Uh, it's really neat in, in a very boring type of way. Well, is that one a state case though only, or is it a federal case? Like, cause this uh, one's federal because it's going from Georgia to California, right? The plaintiff uh, or the right. There's the interstate plaintiff. commerce, but also they want to have the largest, they want to have the largest class action they can. They're talking about how they've done tens of thousands of dollars. I'm sorry. Tens of thousands of people have bought the stuff and millions of dollars have transpired. And so that's why they're also naming their bankers and they're trying to get, treble damages and treble means three uh and so that would be three times the amount of however much has been purchased would be the damages and then they also want their attorney's fees so but, they are going for some cash from cookies but that's if it makes it past uh because you said there's going to be the the part where they have to based on the merits right like this whole they have, in, to, it, it, claim. They have yeah. to have an actual lawsuit yeah because in that but in that um in their lawsuit in their what's it called when what they filed so far like what is it 
That is complaint. Uh, the and complaint. So you scroll okay. all the way to the top, it'll just say complaint. And then they have all they have the background facts, the parties, why it has jurisdiction. You don't I mean it's a little bit different in state court, but they're pretty they're very similar. Um but yeah, they're trying to make a class action to yeah. You know, that would be one of those things where how many people would join a class action against Easy and, and um, uh, Cookies and all the other ones because they thought they were just buying legal can of like Delta yeah. A hemp products. And they're What's shocked. The I'm weed. so shocked. <laughs> it's yeah. got weed in it. Oh, we're, 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 I was trying to get high. How did I know that this would have weed in it? Yeah. I went to the vape store and uh, I was surprised that they sold these products. <laughs> Yeah, I was getting some gas yesterday, and like the, the, the gas station has, you know, the, the Delta Nine THC like in a, um, a neon sign, and so I'm like, there we go, that's that's what we got. But the, uh, they, usually, uh, Delta Nine THC. But I think it was Stizzy. Does this Stizzy uh, have like a pot leaf on their branding type shit? Right, they like. Shouldn't. Uh, typically well, they there's restrictions for marketing for cannabis companies so they don't like we can't have pot leaf branding in illinois uh, mm -hmm. and then very often it can't appeal to children and so i don't know like between cookies and steezy like appealing to children and then if there's a pot leaf on steezy's and sure whatever but it's california rules it's completely different but i'm just thinking about because if this was in georgia where it's only medical, right? They don't even have. And, and this lady right. went to a vape store, so it wasn't even like a pot shop, right? Well, so she this, was fishing for a lawsuit. She was yeah. straight up fishing for a lawsuit. Yeah. Right. And, and, and then, you know, it's not just her fishing, but there were, because she's a resident. So there's probably like prohibitionists from other states funding this, thinking, oh, this is a, this is a good opportunity for that cash cow, that, that cash grab that you're talking about, which is, mm -hmm. you know, but based on the merits, though, like with the whole, like, because I think in this middle section, it says they knew. Like that's the whole Rico thing, right? Like yeah. they they all knew that this was all uh, real weed. But as you talked about within the the THCA, THCA uh, uh, with the uh, uh, like the testing, uh, the time of testing, right? Like you know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you test before harvest or whatever, uh, you're going According to the rules. Yeah. yeah, it's all it's all the rules. So these guys are in compliance. So is it going to go further, right? Based on the merits. Well, that's, that's not necessarily true. And so their evidence is we purchased all these products because we were trying to fabricate a lawsuit that would be, mm -hmm. be worth millions of dollars. And then we sent them to real testing labs as opposed to the ones that they've purchased because they want them to say that it is compliant so they can sell their product and pay us as their testing lab. So like mm -hmm. California now is a good example in the sense that California is seeing its THC percentages on the label go down by about 10%. You know, it used to be like, 30s and 40s and now it's like 20s maybe 30. But Cali just issued that what now there's only seven labs right they're mm -hmm. testing and they have uh, uh, uniform standards and practices right so, which I think is very fundamental to just like the end consumer getting a, a, a real knowledge of what you know uh, as part of the the, the 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 whole like we need more studies but it's really just consumer awareness right I mean are you when people go to the store for the most part you know they are looking for like organic labels but people are going to McDonald's and buying shit. So, like, if you just label it like, uh, I don't know, grown with uh, Eagle Eye Nine, which potentially could kill you, you know, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like weed. a cigarette. Well, yeah. that's what the regret Grateful Dead used to call it back in the day. Killer bud, man. But uh, we got people joining us from all over the country, it looks like. West Virginia. We got Oklahoma cool. in the house. Vermont. Flint, Flint Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, that's pretty great. Uh, maybe even Ohio. Idaho, which is hilarious. Um, also, uh, thanks to all of the uh, uh, the members. So we're, we're, you know, as you can tell yeah, by the new intro. The and, uh, yeah. yeah. But well, like, what are the members going to get? Yeah. Well, <laughs> a, a thank you right now. Well, they <laughs> get, they're in the, they're in the new credits. And so, yeah, we have, yeah. Uh, Will is helping us on, on the digital and, you know, directing the show and putting all these new things that we have. Uh, mm -hmm. And so we have new credits. Uh, Minnesota. Join Missouri. us as a member is because then you would help make cannabis legalization news as well. Uh, you'll get your name in the credits. We also kind of monitor the live chat a little bit. And so if we see somebody who is a member, we try to interact with them and answer their questions. Well, I think it's also, you know, you're coming here, you're helping build a community of just like, you know, we're trying to have transparency to the law so we can have change because that's the whole point of like why, you know, I've been doing the activism advocacy thing as, as well as you, right? Like, you know, originally the page was marijuana uh, uh, prohibitions unconstitutional, right? You know, 
a fundamental belief, right? Though yeah. this is something that we, as Americans, I believe that you know supposedly we can change the world or at least our local area, yeah. and you know, and they learn in Ohio to do it county by county, you know, as we're getting state by state. So well. It's, it's it is a crazy thing. I mean, I may do a deep dive into this, uh, st- you know, this RICO action lawsuit uh, just to kind of tear it up and break it down a little bit more. And if there's any of these lawsuits that kind of go on, I think those are kind of some good you know, analysis episodes that we can do. I'm really kind of bummed that the most recent one and I'm going to make that live for the members here after the show. So you're going to need to be signed in and you have to be over 18. But our viewers are. Uh, but it was immediately flagged 18 plus. So I'm like, ah, it's like that one that's been blowing up this past week. Isn't it's just all about the THCA loophole and how the farm bill is all fucked. But, you know, whatever. We're constantly getting flagged. Like, like we're, we're trying to orient this to like eighth graders. You know, the you know, we've, we've been saying from the beginning that uh, uh, you got to be 18 and over to vote because you can still participate as a, as a voter. Uh, mm-hmm. But you can't be in the market or nor can you buy it legally as far as any state I know, unless you're a patient. You right. Know. Yeah, and so that is uh, that's annoying, but uh, kind of how it is for right yeah. now. Hey, we got two eighty two. Thanks for joining us, peoples. And yeah, let's get to the next story. Yeah. Federally funded researchers discover two new methods of distinguishing hemp and marijuana to assist crime labs. That's right. We haven't legalized this enough so that we can still have it be a crime sometimes. Uh, it's one of my big gripes for um, Illinois is it is still illegal. Uh, you just have legalized a little bit of possession, you know, an ounce. An ounce ain't much. You know, it's just 28 grams. And so that's what's legal for you in Illinois. Maybe not, maybe different in your uh, jurisdiction. Let me know what your possession limits are. I think two and a half ounces is the highest that I'm aware of, but I could be wrong. So there we go. Ounce, uh, it's ounce in uh, what's Washington State. It's an ounce a day for a purchase. So you're a lot of flour, an ounce of flour, and then uh, so you're like also- if you're outside, you can just have like 16 ounces on you, or do you like what's your possession limits in that regard? I don't know what the actual possession limit is. You know, that's a that's a great question. Uh, I imagine it would be that ounce, but uh, you know, I never really thought about it that one. Uh, I just thought about the what you're allowed to purchase was just, just a stupid uh, threshold too. But you know, this this lab testing story I saw uh, uh, high at nine news. They had a, a like a chemist on and there he was saying how these what they're saying here is not new 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 ways to do things this is these it's chromatography and uh uh whatever the other one hlc one is and and and, and you know it's just here people trying to make up excuses for more funding right please give us money because we created some new shit they didn't do anything new they might have figured out how to repackage something but the 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 spectrometry and the gas these are not new methodologies yeah. And so like, you know, that's the gas chromatography. If you've been uh, watching the channel or into hemp for a while, you've known that that one will send your THC limits over the line because it'll decarb it. Uh, and that's why they are always pushing back as to because if they're going to say it's Delta nine, well, then uh, make sure that you test it for Delta nine. And if you use uh, gas chromatography, you heat it and that makes any THCA in the plant go hot and so it's easier to have uh, more than 0.3 percent delta 9 thc uh, there's other methods that are out there uh, you know liquid chromatography is another one uh, hplc i think is that that one is i am not sure about that's gcms method gas chromatography master comedy i think that's the one where they they heat it yeah um, and so. then what's dart herms d-a-r-t dash h-r-m-s not sure. Uh, and again, these are all, you know, anything with cannabis testing. Oh, it's about that time. Real time, high resolution mass spectrometry, direct analysis in real time. And so, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. I meant that time. Oh, is it 20 past the hour already? It is. Well, uh, breaking news in New York. It's 420 over there. This is going to be a quick commercial break from Collateral Base. Hey, man, thanks for tuning in. You're probably in the industry or like you like that stuff and uh, you may have been arrested for weed. If you have, boy, do we have an offer for you. And not only that, uh, not only is it 
there's that. Not only is it uh, if you've been arrested for weed, maybe your spouse, maybe your kids, uh, or maybe your parents, or if you're a disabled veteran. Disabled veterans also have an opportunity coming up in Missouri. So uh, let's see if I can get, I'm not sure which one, I think it's this one, into that one. Um, kind of, could have done a better job on that, I think. But um, go on over to Social Equity Incubator and fill out our type form at the bottom. We will follow up with you if you have been arrested for cannabis. Low level, uh, there's still disqualifying felonies, unfortunately. So if you've had real trouble with law or enforcement, you have to watch out for that. However, um, in Missouri, uh, you can also be social equity by being a disabled veteran. So we're trying to find social equity applicants for a Missouri licensing window that is coming in about six weeks. Let me share that with you guys that are in the live chat. I'll also share it with uh, the comments, maybe even pin this one. Hopefully this is compliant. We aren't trying to violate uh, the good overlords terms of service, but sometimes they say we do. Well, and then uh, I'd advise you too to look at your, uh, the, the rules are out there. See if you qualify, right? You can, you'll know yeah. enough, but I'd advise you to work with Tom because like he'll have a team that'll help apply for the application and, and have us, you know, we're, we're, we're at that phase to soon that when we get this license, the, the business side is going to happen. Right. And I'm lucky. Let's enough. Hope. To, it's yeah. like when we get this license, I'm like, Oh my goodness. We're going to be coming up on the one year anniversary of us getting that license. It's already been a year. And so if you guys are new to the channel and you want to watch Miggy and I apply for the cannabis license we won last summer in Illinois, it's still there. Uh, it is on. And so like, it's like Tom and Miggy apply for an Illinois cannabis license. And it took us like 10 minutes or something like that. Yeah. Not even a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. But the, and then also we, we want to document the business side of things. And this is why I, I still, again, I'm still thinking about doing the people's pot fundraiser, man. If we can get like half a million, because here's the thing when you win a life, when you're going to be- do a regulation crowdfunding raise. Right. Right. I mean, we can try to do that. Here. Right. Avenues right. before we, uh, well, yeah. what we would do it as a debt instrument. And so like I've done these before mm. for people, we can do it for ourselves, uh, you know, because loans are really important in it. Mm -hmm. So we could uh, put together a crowdfunding page as a debt instrument. Uh, and I, I've done it before. I can follow up with the, the lawyer that I did it with. And so we could do another one and try to hype it on here. I don't know if YouTube's going to be pissed off about that because well, like, is that too far? Like, you know, it's like, Hey, you're not allowed to talk to people about where they can get a cannabis license. I'm like, well, technically they aren't going to get the license. They're just going to be our creditors. Right. Well, hear, hear me out on, on the people's pot. Right. So like, cause I, I think we can appeal to both sides. This is going to be one of those, like everybody wants to be part of it because mm -hmm. on the right side, the, the new, the new MAGA side, they all love Russian talking points, right? Comrades. And then on the other side, they all like equality of giving some shit to each other. Right. So, we equity. can have that transparency. It's no longer right, we'll, equality. Now it's equity. Some we'll, people are more equal than others. <laughs> wow, that's but the part of equity is transparency, right? Like, yeah. like we're gonna be either we're gonna create the money or we're gonna go in business with somebody and I can slap honestly. Well, I care if it, if, it, if we're part of a cookies, right? Because it's not gonna be our thing. I mean, that's gonna be the the, well, the you can always start the, a brand. It's just one of those deals where this is a hard industry. And so you should try to find a, a very talented operator that knows how to do the license type that you have and partner with that, uh, that company, well, because it's just smart, especially if you just won and yeah. you've never run this before. Uh, and somebody else who's an operator has, they're going to save you so many mistakes, like well, so many mistakes. Running a store, running running a restaurant, right? You, you find out your bottom line for everything. You find out because uh, that's what eventually happens, right? You you understand you got to pay, keep the lights on. You understand that you got to pay your employees, but and you want to have weekends in Bahamas or next week, like me, I'll be in Mexico, um, and I will be live with Tom. We will be here, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, you know, there's there's caveats to like creating business that you don't think about, right? Like I, as as being a cog in the machine. I found my pool place, right? And it's like with my kids, you know, it's not like when you turn 18, all of a sudden you're freaking making money and have an understanding of like what your purpose is or thing you're doing, right? You found the law. 
and and then the law of the the banking side the financial side which is still like huge uh, uh understanding those like the the positions to be in so, so you don't get in trouble with the goddamn feds right because so many people are so busy trying to either cheat the system but if you can just play the game without getting you know like screwed and that way you have more say more leverage towards it that's what the whole point of, of uh like the good legalization like where people who want it like ideally no one ever goes to jail right for growing well, i mean al capone <laughs> went to jail for failing to pay his taxes so provided that you're playing by the rules no you don't go to jail but if you're stealing from uncle sam and he's trying to wet his beak in your industry that's highly regulated but now legal that's 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 not the way to run a business yeah, uh, we got some state news, though. Hey, let's uh, Virginia. Let you, yeah, lead off on this one. So uh, Virginia uh, House passes a bill to legalize all use cannabis sales. Uh, a commercial retail marketplace could launch as soon as January 1st, 2025. If lawmakers put forward a bill, Republican Glev Youngkin supports. Oh, my God. I never. That's this should be shit. shit. Huh? The, the, the key word on that sentence. If. And so, like, uh, I don't think it's possible for the Republicans in Virginia to put forth a bill uh, or at the lawmakers. Let's let's get it. It's because the cannabis is not a, a partisan issue. It's a popular issue. Right. Uh, I don't think that they the legislature is going to put forth a bill that Glenn Youngkin would support. Oh, I see. So so he's saying, like, you got to put something like 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 high caps or some bullshit scenario that you would probably only I mean, his friends get the five licenses, something like that. That's this what I'm is, saying. Yeah. This is oh, so this but you know, didn't they already pass it though? This is didn't uh they did a such a screwy cockamamie thing back in 20, uh, 2021 where they legalized it with like a four year expiration. It's like we're gonna legalize it, we'll be ready for it in four years. We're out. And is that what like, happened? Wait, yeah, yeah. Uh, we covered they're all gonna expire like like the well, because I remember we had Chelsea, uh, 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 I, don't, I forget her last name, but the activist down there who's, I think her uh, uh, foundation is THC Justice. And, and, and like, I knew there was a lot of like rigmarole and discontent, but I didn't realize it was because there's an expiration date and goddamn the law. <laughs> I didn't I know you could do that. Oh, yeah. Now you do. Hey, there's some news out of New York we can cover before maybe we uh, play oh, yeah. some games where we look at nuggets. New York officials have approved home grow rules and new business licenses uh, amid a rocky start for the legal market. Not too shabby. Home grow does not dent sales. And I can't wait for the people in New York to have the right to garden in their house. What a what an inverse world. Like Washington State legalized it first, but yet 12 years later, we still have yet to have home grow. These guys don't have any real stores yet or a, lot, a big market, but yet uh, here's your... Now, this will also enable what I like to refer to now as the barter's market. Mm -hmm. Because the barter's market, you know, well, there, look, look what marijuana moments advertising for THCA flower right oh, there hey. live as an advertisement. February 18th, 2024, everybody. Let's see where that goes. Um, but yeah, this BOGO THC flower. Um, yeah, anyway, so 60 day public comment period for New York State. Yeah, and it sucks that, Miggy, you know, you can grow in Washington State if you get a medical card. Yeah. And so, like, it's, you don't have, like, Illinois and Washington State are similar in that respect. Uh, we only have medical home grow. We do not have adult use home grow. Uh, Mar not Maryland. Missouri and Michigan to uh, my, like, you know, right and left in Illinois, they both have medical and adult use home grow. And so, like, if you're an adult, you can cultivate there. They sell more weed than Illinois does. It does not dent demand, you know? And, mm -hmm. and so if you allow the people to grow at home, they're just going to buy more weed because they're going to get bored with their weed. And so then you just have to have a right price point, you know? Homebrew hasn't put out bars. It hasn't put out Anheuser-Busch. You know, like, they, like they, we're going to have a big three no matter what. Like, there's going to be a, a a big whatever Kroger in charge. It is of a the, pain in the butt to grow your own. Like, it's it, you yeah. have to do work to grow weed. Yeah. Yeah. For like six months. I mean, uh, do you know, good luck taking a travel? You know, like, oh, I got to get out of here. You, you, you got some weed in the, in the basement. It's harder. Like, who's going to wash the plants? And, and, and that's just that. But, you know, the plant that can turn at any moment, right? You can have like what you think is a great uh, 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 harvest, but then like spider bites or something bad, a PHE balance or something quick and, and fast. But uh, what do we got this. going on here? 
this is uh, like, why are we trying to oh, get our shit. own dispensary up? up if we could be buying ads on Marijuana Moment? Now, could we do this for our dispensary in the future? And then like have like, just like, hey, spin. Look, wouldn't you like to spin? No, I don't feel fun. lucky. Uh, there we go. We have some, but this is like indoor smalls, 35 bucks to 99 snowballs, THCA flower. Let's, let's try that one. Because uh, you know, Oh, what the hell is that? That is not weed. It's your, Oh, it doesn't allow me to add it to cart. Probably because I haven't said that I'm 18 plus, but it's just so nuts that, uh, oh, that's a thing e has taken over cannabis and they've done it because they're hemp. That, that was disgusting. Though. I would never like that. That whatever was on that caca, thing but you know uh the, the other new york story goes to show how like people don't have an understanding of the uh uh, uh pretty much the market uh relevance in uh, uh culture and that is uh, uh here i share mine unless you got yours i don't have that one up um, yeah, yeah. If you already have it up then let's go for it oh there we go uh brooklyn dispensary notorious big mural causes stir so uh, uh these guys were told to take uh so this is not the actual Murrow. The, the Miro was uh, Biggie Smalls as, as a baby. There you go. There he is. No, oh, wait. Did they have it? No, no, I have it on. Oh, there it is. See so that little baby? Baby Biggie Smalls. Baby that? Biggie Smalls has caused a stir in New, a New York dispensary. So the uh, uh, the thing about this was is uh, the dispensary was told to take down the Miro. And, and I now, this... what, what marketing rule was it violating? Because that's probably what the deal was. Well, not just that. Uh, 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 the fun police, you know, why is it that they couldn't have a mural of a local celebrity or whatever the case is? You know, we got Sean Kemp store. The whole building's goddamn done in the Sonics uh, green and uh, uh, yellow. Uh, and he's got a big picture of him when he was younger uh, doing the dunk. But like, what? Is, yeah, like, who's this hurting? What rules? What violation of integrity? We, uh, uh, it's all good. Well, but uh, what? Like uh, yeah, I think it's because they, um, who's it hurting? If the regulators, the fund police is who you mean by the regulators, come in, it's like there's a rule and they're like, excuse me, according to this rule right here, not allowed to do that. Uh, meanwhile, there and down three shy is also advertising um, on marijuana moment. And so three shy is selling a lot of Delta eight. So mm. why would you take all the time and money to get a card license in New York and do all that crap and try to get operational when you could just be selling it online? I don't think it's as easy as you make it sound, though, man. I mean, like, I think if you have a, um, and I think that's part of the culture, part of the, like for consumers. If if uh, you know someone you trust, or uh, you know, like people are talking now. I see the younger, uh, you know, watching Luke's channel and mm -hmm. uh, uh, RMR. You know, these guys are who who are like the youth, right? They 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 got this like thumb on the thing, and these kids who are talking about like, well, if you don't have gelato, you know, everybody wants these cuts and that cuts. But it doesn't work that way per state. You know, even the consumers don't care, right? Because in the end, somebody just wants to walk into a store. They're going to be like, what's your best weed for, you know, so much money? I'm going to do this. Oh, you want to do that? You should try this weed. Yeah. 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 What are you smoking? I mean, like, there's a different, you know, vibe. However, people want to approach the weed. You know, it's like you go to a restaurant. What do you think is best in the menu? All right. Well, fuck it. Let's have that. It's That's not it. Be That's it. one of the reasons. Like, and when you're home growing with plant limits and stuff, you don't have mm. a menu. You yeah. got like a plant count limit. And so you only have so many genetics in your own stuff. Okay. All this talk about weeds making me thirsty. Let's play some name that straight. Wait a minute, Dale. I'm not sure why. You... Well, anyway. Check out the new uh the new feature. This is so cool. Yes. That's what we're fighting for, everybody. Uh, there are some hints. I'm going to go ahead and start reading the show notes hints yeah. on this one. It's an indica leading hybrid. That was cool, right? Uh, and, uh, pretty... Do you have any of the uh, do you have the, the notes up on that? I do somewhere. All right, go on. Well, um, indica the... leading it indica... can remind you of peach flavored sour candy, accented with an earthy undertone and spice. Yes, Look ethos cool. or ethos probably is its actual pronunciation. Genetics. Unique boutique line. It is an F1 complex cross of Chem D, I-95, Mandarin cookies, and peach rings. That is, you see, I don't have that cross. I don't got that taste or those flavors. Mm. That is why you need home grow and you need um, for adult use. Like you need more people growing, but 
um, you just need right. a collection at the dispensary and it needs to be priced well. Uh, you know, you know, what? when uh, coming from traditional barter market, uh, uh, my first into a dispensary in Washington state where the selection was walls of jars and uh, uh, I didn't have to buy a quarter pound at once because there was a time you just bought whatever was available and, and you hope that lasted you uh, till the next re re up. Cause no, none of this was an answer. None of it was a, a an option just to have, like, I know I can go to the store and go get a six pack. Cause there's always gonna be beer at the market down the street or, you know, whatever it is, you know, we live in that luxury. And I think that's the market we're trying to create where canvas is a much to do about nothing. It's just somebody's, you know, convenience. Do we got anybody yet? Nope. Let's uh, show the strain again. There we are. That is the overlay, and uh, that's so cool. Okay, I see what it is. That's now I know where it is. Neat. Um, I was looking for that overlay so we could kind of go over it. I'm not sure if that's yeah, the yeah. same. Maybe it is. No, it but is. I, I, let's go to the audience and see if anybody's guessed this. Once again, the parents are Chem D. I know. Oh, we got it. We got it uh, in Facebook. Peach Crescendo Victoria on Facebook. Do the reveal. We're streaming everywhere, everybody. Uh, well, not really everywhere. Just Facebook, YouTube, and um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Do this reveal. Ta -da! It's so awesome. You can. They can but hear. We need, a, we, need a, we need a little audio with that. Do you, do you, we'll put some audio with it or something. You know, like the uh, that thing. Like when you turn on a Mac or when you hear the oh. end of song. <laughs> Beatles, yeah, dumb. Uh, there it is. Yeah. Speaking of dumb, are just you MD sour flavor, but a little bit more tropical citrus and peach undertones. It sounds like it'll be a, a tasty, a tasty smoke. Yeah, yeah. So what are you smoking on now? Oh me, I'm uh, wrapping up some uh, home grow. I can't even remember what it is. It's been so long. I, I nice. just got done with like some Willie Nelson, but I have a, a harvest that'll be coming down. That's Willie Nelson and. Um, uh, what's the other one? It's a Jack, something Jack, grapefruit Jack or something like that. Yeah. As as a vegetarian, uh, is it like hunting? A little bit, yeah, <laughs> right. And uh, and then it, with the rock wool, it is kind of impressive. And so like using the rock wool, and then I have the Athena Newts, their Pro line that mm. I've been using. Uh, and so it's been fun. And then I have this really uh, this really neat little doohickey for a carbon dioxide uh, that adds it in. Uh, nice. I should do like a quick video on that because that's something that's not really grow related and it is a wonderful carbon dioxide hack as opposed to like buying the shit that you find on Amazon, which you can also find this on Amazon or mm -hmm. uh, doing like because some people will buy like stuff they just hook up to their gas uh, uh -huh. and like it burns and it creates carbon dioxide. And I'm like, uh, that's nuts. I, I got a tent downstairs. I don't want to like have like a furnace in there making carbon no. dioxide. Gas line. Yeah. I mean, you got a family and kids. <laughs> right. Safety. And but uh, vinegar and baking soda. Eh, I don't care about that. It's right. just some vinegar and baking soda. And it's uh, there's two little two liters. And then it's vinegar and baking soda. And like, um, so they, they one fills the other. And then the carbon dioxide uh, makes the car, you know, the two liter all expand. And then there's like a little titrator on the end of it. So you turn it down and then it just slowly escapes into the uh, tent. Nice. Oh, yep. sounds healthy, and, and hopefully, hey, it's Great Britain. I guess no, hey, it's, uh, that's technically not Great Britain. I is that, think that's, uh, is that Hawaii? Hawaii? Is it Hawaii? No, that's not Hawaii's flag. Oh. Is it? South Carolina's? I don't know whose flag that is. Uh, let's ask uh, the guy in the back. Um, is it Hawaii? Shit. Flag. All right. Dude. Let's go to the Hawaii story then. Fuck and me. we learned something today. I totally, dude. Uh, yeah. Hawaii senators approved marijuana legalization bill as state agencies undermine pro reform governor with opposition testimony. No shit. I'm yeah, surprised that one, dude. Two Hawaii state senator committees have approved the bill to legalize marijuana in a joint hearing with lawmakers. So now it has to go on to the Senate, right? I mean, this is the whole part of the process. That's right. Everybody except for Nebraska is bicameral. Nebraska is one nut. So the Senate Health and Human Services Committee and the Judiciary Committee both voted to pass the bill. So it looks like it's going to make it, but I mean, think Reefer Madness is going to take over here? 
Well, I mean, it looks like Reefer Madness has kind of taken over a little bit when you say that it's only 21 and older to possess up to one ounce of cannabis and five grams of concentrate going into effect on Jan 126. So they're kind of giving themselves plenty of time to get ready for this. Uh, it would also permit home cultivation of six plants and allow for the possession up to 10 ounces of harvested home grow. Six plants, 10 ounces. Eh. So like you have to go through your heart. Eh. I don't know. I don't know. These, those types of possession limits are always a little silly. Well, Hawaii is a funny animal, too, because, I mean, that's where uh, THC Ministries, Chris Christie did time, uh, that, you know, five years. It's on without... Forbes, too. So, like, the THCA flower ad is also on Forbes. We should <laughs> charge these. Things. Well, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, this is all about your cookies, dude. I mean, these are generic, like, uh, you know, feeds. But, yeah, I mean, they're investing, right? I mean, that I wouldn't trust that site, but. You know, whatever. Teach their own. Put your credit card number in. They, yeah, they are. They're buying online ads and selling weed. I'm more disturbed by Hawaii's flag, dude. I had no, I had the colonialism in that flag. It was just very. Like, did not oh, know well. this. Well, just that's New York. Hawaii's but, uh, flag. No, no, I'm looking at it. Like I'm straight up, just more like dumbfounded because I never thought about it. Like that looks very European to me. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it does have the Union Jack in the upper left corner. Is that what, okay, so that's, more that's of a, what the little British thing is, the Union yeah. Jack. So weird. I so know. Because when I, I think of the Union Jack, I do not think of Hawaii. Well, uh, you know, I know as a half Polynesian, I just, I, I, you know, I always have an affiliation for him, but I never really knew because there was always been, you know, the sailors, right, and uh, that, you know, got there and whatnot, but. They realized there was like a flag on that bitch that just said we are like the moon landing. But, uh, you know, Ohio is now catching up to us in the uh, 20th century. Oh, yes. Ohio is. They've legalized it. But have they found out or have they found out yet exactly how they want to legalize it? I don't think so. But, you know, the culture is starting. Right. So you got this Ohio cannabis dot com. Uh, today, they're having a farmer's market with education. Farmers market. Yeah. So I just thought that was really neat that uh, Will found these guys, you know, because every state's going to have their own, uh, what do you call them, uh, 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 goddamn, uh, the forefathers, right? When people say, oh, I'm a... Uh, the uh, first movers is what they would call them in like a business term of uh, a new participant in a new market would be like a first mover. Yeah. But, but what do you know? But there's like uh, people from the legacy markets that call themselves like, uh, like it almost has like an old timer... Um, legacy. God damn it. OG. You mean yeah, OG? I guess. But like you know, every state's gonna have their uh, the person that starts that, and and I think those people are like the interesting heroes of the business, right? Because someone's gonna put their money behind this website, uh, putting these people together, renting the space wherever it's at, you know, dealing with the police when they show up for whatever reason, because that happens. I saw yes, that the Washington show up. The police show up. Uh, they yeah. at least they did back then. I don't think the police. The police will now show up and you're like, there he is. Go get him. And and so like at least in our state where it's highly regulated. So the cops know if anything's going on at the dispensary in Illinois. Yeah. So this is Ohio, though. I mean, like, good on you guys for doing something shit. That's good. Clone seeds are a starter package. We've got you covered. Johnny Cannabis, 15 years of growing experience. But, you know, you always have to be careful with this. because Pioneers. Really That's the word. Pioneers. You're, yeah. you're waiting for pioneers. That was the word, Mike. I was trying to come through with the everybody thinks they're a pioneer in cannabis. And it's like, yeah, uh, this thing's thousands of years old. <laughs> right. Right. I invented hash. How old are you? 4,328. Oh. It's the old time. Oh, <laughs> so, so what was the other story that we just saw? There was another one coming from a, a state. Was that uh, another Ohio? No, oh, Missouri. Missouri. Uh, Missouri, Missouri marijuana. marijuana. Go ahead, Biggie. Okay. Uh, marijuana moment. Thanks again. Uh, Missouri Marijuana Company argues that workers are not allowed to unionize due to federal law. This one uh, is kind of... Uh, so the, the, the company in question is Leaf Medical Sensei Cannabis, which... Why can't anybody... Is this the same guy as the Belief Genetics? I mean, that's the one that did the, uh, the uh, spousal abuse guy. It's because every state has their own industry. 
there are 80 billion belief cannabis license holders all over the United States, and you can't get a copyright, not a copyright, a trademark at the federal level. So each state is going to have its own belief, just like each state would have its own Burger King, like if it was illegal to have cheeseburgers. And so like Burger King was in one state or another state. Yeah. And so it, that's that's just what happens. And so there's so many beliefs out there. They should do a big roll up when it becomes legal. All the beliefs merge into one belief. Well, you remember when everything was canna, right? Like, like everybody thought that you know that was the SEO hack. Is canna whatever? I'm a canna nurse, canna doctor, whatever the fuck you want to do, uh, canna news. But uh, 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 yeah, that, this is sad that they're trying to fight this based on a uh, uh, you know they're not you know some BS federal stuff. Are you familiar with this? Uh, the unions, and so yeah, and so that somebody was uh, Tom O'Malley was hitting me up uh, over the weekend. Cause he was working at, at the IDOT. And so he's like a public employee and sometimes even public employees can be fired for lawful off the clock cannabis use. Mm. And so that there's some bills that are working their way through Illinois that aren't there yet. And this is more maybe Missouri just being about like Missouri is very conservative relative to Illinois. And so like, you know, they have like some of the least strict gun laws in the country and they're very pro business. So it, it, well, I could see them saying you can't unionize because the judge doesn't like unions. He's a good Republican. Well, here's the, uh, the, the what they're writing off of. Agricultural laborers aren't protected under the 1935 National Labor Relations Act, which ensures employees have a fundamental right. So this, this is why you have so many immigrant farmers all the time, right? There's no protections. And there should be. Are you there? There you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if whether or not that's an accurate statement, um, but uh, it's it's being argued. That, it's being argued. That's right. The board regional director uh, issued a 13 page decision detailing why the employees are not agricultural workers and could cast the votes into the union nation election. I think it's interesting that any person it, that works in cannabis is in agriculture. Are we sure about that? Uh, I just right. finished a chapter on agricultural security interests in Illinois. And we did include more about cannabis and financing to cannabis companies. And it is an agricultural product, but uh, an agricultural product becomes inventory as it's processed. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the process is so like if you are a, a grower or if you're on the, the production side, I think they have something like it's like, you know, if you're in Dole Pineapple, is Dole Pineapple in agriculture? Yeah, I, I would say they are. But then aren't those workers, they have to have some type of protections. I just can't believe that it's like, ah, but except for farmers, fuck them. Well, I know there is, like in California, I follow a, a food, uh, you know, but this is why, like, Chavez was a, a thing, you know, like people don't understand their rights fundamentally or know where to look or, 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 or this is why kind of like having, you got to go to someone who's in a lane and understands it, like why I'm just fortunate enough to, to have a partner with you in law and the banking side of things in this business venture that we're about mm -hmm. to partake in where, uh no surprises right because if you go to like or like the people i'm dealing with in my taxes right now against the trip, i suck at this i i i am defiance about like what uh what do you call it? allocating what should go to the government right i'm just thinking you fucking take it out already don't you like just tell me like stop they making do. it hard that is that is kind of fun like they they could make the taxes easier to do and have uh, ways of like that why isn't that like a public good that we do uh here yes. is your business keeping software uh, this is your business keeping software we the government want you to have it so that we know how much we are supposed to take from you from your taxes they could make it easier they don't well and, and, you know part of it's because uh big money has ha, has uh lobbied to you know our what is a tax code over a thousand pages and the next tax country country the highest uh you know uh, number of pages is like 13. Right. I mean, so many Kathy has for people of already wealth or, you know, how to hide it or or, or to get back whatever. Well, like cost it, it out. turns out that it's accurate. Look at that. And so. Uh, wow. the other, so the, the Labor Act guaranteed collective bargaining power to all workers, except for farm workers, which were ex specifically excluded. Uh, and um, that has led to states having to do it instead of you know, the feds. And so in one state, you might have protection. But if you go to Missouri, you don't. 
I still mm. don't think that a dispensary is like it's like saying a grocery store is uh, agriculture. I don't get that. Like if the growers, I understand that. Like, you know, maybe they can yeah, yeah. maybe they yeah. can't unionize. But then the uh retail locations, I don't think that's agriculture. But you know the whole union thing's funny though. I mean, like they should be protected, be able to join anyone that you know that they should have rights under that protection. Because like when I worked at Raytheon, I uh the option was to be a machinist uh, union. And uh, I'm not a machinist. I, I, I'm an electronics tech, so I was like that. They don't. They were. They were appeasing the the the, the whatever the, the the more percentage of people that that worked at the company when it came to the contracts. Right. I was a small percentage because we were the higher pay ones, but also we're pretty essential because we were the ones that understand how to fix your shit. And so, yeah. like, you know, I'm not the guy who's like, you know, beep beep beep. Those South Park guys. The, screw, the, the, screw, South screw. Park were- all the yeah. service people were like broke because they didn't know how to do anything. And the, the guys who were handy and the fixer upper guys, they were like driving like those badass cars. I'll do your taxes. Shit. Yeah, I'll do your taxes. You need to fix problem, please. Yeah. Yeah. So like the, 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 the fact that that was my option was to be uh, covered. So I, I, you know, it's just unfortunate. These guys don't even have that option unless the state wills it, which, you know, this is, Part of that immigration debate. I mean, if we well, also don't know if cannabis is agriculture. I mean, I could well, see the argument being made for like, but then, okay, let's say you buy sugar and and um, uh, you know chocolate syrup and walnuts and stuff. So you buy agricultural products mm-hmm. and then you make candy. Are you still in agriculture? And so, like, are you going to hit the infusers then too that are buying the oil? And processing it into a Snickers bar or something, or would they be uh, agricultural? I don't see that. I mean, I mm-hmm. could just see. And then this is about. I thought the bee leaf was retail, but maybe it is. Okay, but uh, I, 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 and again, it's just just this is just somebody to try and squash uh, uh, people trying to organize in their, in their in their company. Whatever people are going to fight tooth and nail to keep whatever they like how they want it and do what they do, but. You know the the UFCW is already involved with the uh, cannabis unions, and I think that's part of the the broad sweep of how we look at these things, right? Just because it's cannabis, and because you can go to jail for it in Kentucky or uh, Indiana, right? Anything to do with it, whether you're a grower or you're the cookie maker, which it shouldn't be, right? Just how we look at like whether you're the shipper or the store, it's all something that could put you in jail in the wrong state, you know, in the wrong country. But uh, uh, because it's that legality or illegality, you know that they shouldn't be. Though you're right, they should be. Uh, store workers are one union. Uh, agriculture guys, the guys who are actual farmers, are protected that way, right? Each one has their own different level of what they're part of. But yeah, I, I agree. I got another that. Wisconsin one. Uh, Wisconsin did have some news, and and I've been licensed to practice there since forever. Like 2008, mm. I guess it's not forever, but never had to work there. And then they continue to never legalize weed. Come on, Wisconsin. I would like to reactivate my law license there and help out a little bit. But um, nope. Uh, however, there was another news out of Wisconsin that gives me hope about the legalizing cannabis one day. Uh, they have gotten away from their gerrymandered uh, map of the state legislature. And so Wisconsin mm-hmm. had a very uh, funny looking map, just completely gerrymandered so that what? despite it being. Yeah, I know. Right. Despite it being a swing state with maybe about 51 percent, you know, Democratic leaning, but, you know, some independent in there. So it could go either way. Uh, the legislature is two thirds controlled by Republicans. Uh, however, the governor is typically a Democrat. And that's the mm. same setup we have right now in Wisconsin. So the guy, the governor, who is a Democrat, Tony Evers, and then the uh, guy in the background is probably the speaker, Robin Voss. That guy's probably a Republican because they have a two thirds majority in mm-hmm. the House or in the Senate. And then the Democrat is always in governor. When I was in law school, same thing. That's so you know, weird. You know, all these little Republicans are always so smart and can like savvy to their little local area, but never enough to kiss everybody's ass in the whole state. Right, because right. I mean, it's, it's, governors like this uh, uh, politician thing, but you know that 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 hopefully it, it, things change, right? Because that's how they're going to legalize it. 
But uh, you know, also, dude, we had that uh, Florida news that I saw that tweet on. Oh, so, yes, yes. Let's go to the Florida news that Nikki saw a tweet on. On Thursday, Florida Republicans approved a bill to limit TAC to two milligram packages financed by a CEO group, private prison lobby. This bill is likely to be adopted by the states of approved in Florida. Um, yeah, that sucks. Fucking people are idiots. Yeah. But then two mil- two megabytes. Or, I'm sorry, two mil- uh, milligrams, right? Two MG? Yeah. That was it? That's yeah. it, two milligrams. That's, that's nothing. Yeah. Your, your edibles at your Florida dispensaries, your medical dispensaries, exceed that. Uh, I have hemp beverages that have five milligrams that I bought and I was reading the label and I'm like, hey, they complied with the FTCA. Good work for them. Uh, And and it said it was made in Miami. And so I'm like, oh, Mm. is that now going to be shut down? Can they no longer make their product? With that, law becomes a thing and it's two megabytes, megabytes, milligrams Mm -hmm. as opposed to five milligrams, which is what they were mailing out. I don't want to drink a a two milligram seltzer. That would take me forever to get a buzz. Well, and again, show me on a doll where this plant hurts you. That this, who are you saving? What, what are you protecting? What greater good's going on here? That uh, you know, thank you, Superman. <laughs> thank you for for saving us from ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Hey, there was some international news, or is this German stuff? The the, the news out of Germany. Uh, it says it came out on uh, Valentine's Day. Oh, uh, yeah. and it just seems like it's always kind of creeping, uh, but it's. Evidently going to be here next week. So tune in next week. What do you What do you think, Miggy? Will they vote, Will they vote to legalize it? You're going to lay so. out. You know, oh, that- those Vegas odds. I'd be betting for them. Bill to legalize marijuana in Germany on legislative agenda next week. Plans for the reform by April on track. Interesting. We got a cool Bundestag. Was it Bundestag? Is that the name of the company? No, that's the name of their legislature in Germany. The process? No, I think it's like their Congress. Oh, I don't think you said it angry enough, though. I I know. I am <laughs> not very German at all. I'm Irish. Yeah. I'm just saying, isn't like everything in German like, hello! <laughs> <laughs> I, I have I, a beautiful I, I, thing. I've never been to Germany, so I'm not sure if it is that, um, that comical, but I, I really hope that it is. Just the language is very abrupt, is what I, uh, my, interp- my perception is. So was Reaching like, final are... agreements in the primary from the Social Democratic Party. Hey, go Germany. I hope you legalize it. That would be freaking sweet. And again, uh, yeah, another there. country. Uh, but... You want to you take this tweet, Biggie? Can you get this? Because you were mentioning how uh, German needs to be pronounced in such a way. I just think everything sounds like a goddamn Hitler speech. Das Deutsch für Schnatchen Mitchell. Freedom unenforced in lesson. Das as a Jesus Nachschlag Gestop weird. Like, how do you pronounce weird? Like, W I R D exclamation point. Oh, I hate when that happens. You can never touch uh, a tweet. They're still called tweets after it became X because it just links right to it. <laughs> no, no, no. Selbst dürften nach. I think Germany's got great history. I just, you know, I and I wish the, I spoke it instead of made fun of it. Sorry, Jeremy. hey, yeah. Well, tune in next week when Miggy and I learn German from uh, Mexico. Because, yeah, or actually, he'll be yeah from Mexico. Mm-hmm. It'll be an international uh, news report because it's cannabis legalization news, uh, the number one news source on YouTube or wherever yeah. you get your podcasts because you can find this wherever you get your podcast. Yeah, buddy. Check out the extra.